I'm not actually vlogging or anything like that. I wanted to come on here and do an update because I got Snickers right here with me for the last time. She's been like sick on and off for the last year and then this past week she started not being able to walk and I'm really trying to hold it together. Monday was really tough. I was crying most of the day but the last two days I've been trying to hold it together but we are going to be putting her down today. I'm, I'm just I'm trying not to think about it. I just wanted to come on here and like let everybody know like she won't be in future videos unless I'm doing like a reference to an old video. But yeah, so I'm gonna No. <coughs> I'm gonna sneeze and then I'm gonna spend the rest of the day with her before we take her to the vet. So today is September 22nd. I think there's a lawnmower happening behind me, but I'm trying to get back into the swing of things today. The last two weeks have just been absolutely insane. Uh, last week I got another job and I've been, I've been working there pretty consistently since I started. And then we put sneakers down yesterday, so Things have just been crazy. Like I literally got up this morning and I started freaking out because we didn't uh, ask about paw printing before um, the cremation people came to go get her. And so we were calling everybody like, hey, they take her yet, do they take her yet? And then we had to get their number and call them. It was a whole thing, but we're getting our paw prints. It's gonna be fine. I'm about to go to the gym. I haven't been in the gym in probably a week and a half. So it's, it's gonna be a little rusty. I'm super, super sore. I had to order some more electrolyte packets because I'm out. It's crazy. So much is happening, but tonight I work at the winery and I need to do laundry and just, yeah. I need to get my life back on track. I have so much anxiety that it's really hard for me to do that. So I'm gonna try to do it, but let's go work out. morning today is gonna be a really exciting day it is thursday october 5th i have the day off of work because i asked for the day off of work <laughs> i was only meaning for like the night shift to be off and i could have worked during the day but it works out really nice because i get to do a bunch of things today like i get to make my breakfast i get to go to the gym i get to get ready for tonight and like not have to worry about anything i am so excited because tonight my mom and i are going to see valley i have been obsessed with valley for like two years now i discovered them through casey ayonzo so yeah i'm super excited i've been like begging them to come <laughs> to indy for like months and they're like we're coming to indy and i'm like okay i will be there so yeah i will take you through my entire day good morning tootsie okay i'm gonna make some waffles some hot chocolate eat a banana that's gonna be breakfast i'm definitely gonna need a little more protein i might add some oven roasted turkey but the other day I had like a protein cookie with it and it was like perfect, but I don't have that today. <laughs> Maybe we'll go to the store and get some. Something else really exciting about today is one of my friends from Birthright is a flight attendant and she has a stop in Indy and she always texts me to make plans when she's in Indy. And so I get to see her today. Probably won't vlog much. I'll vlog like the restaurant and stuff. And I definitely just want to spend time with her. So I wouldn't expect any clips of her. But yeah, I'm so excited to do that. Oh, OTD. Let's go. So, just parked at the theater. Now I'm walking to meet Sydney for dinner. So excited. Thai food's always good. Let's go. since I've been on here but I wanted to kind of do a life update because so much in my life has changed from when you last saw me speak like literally so much has changed I think the most important thing that I wanted to get to was Snickers we unfortunately had to put her down on September 21st I know I made an update in this video talking about Snickers and whatnot but it happened she's gone she's in a little box by my bed right now and i'm too lazy to go get her but yeah obviously i'm sad but i'm trying not to think about it because like the more i think about it the more depressed i get and 
whatever my mom said I'm taking it really 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 well and honestly I just I don't know I had my big freak out the day the vet told us we had to put her down and so I think for the most part I got it all out I'm not going to be shocked though if like sometime in the next few months I just break down and start crying because like she's a huge part of my life like 13 years living with somebody like obviously they're going to become a part of you but like the way the last week of her life went she was in my bed on her on the day before we put her down she was in my bed for like 10 hours straight and peed in my bed and I didn't know about it until way late like literally like hours after she peed in my bed and like that's not something she does and then she projectile vomited everywhere and vomiting is something like obviously she's always done forever but she hasn't been eating enough for her to vomit but yeah she was uncomfortable she was unhappy she was clearly embarrassed that she couldn't control anything happening in her body so yeah and when we put her down like not even 10 seconds she was gone unfortunately it was time but I really am doing okay. Like, I just have to take it for what it is and she was ready. If she wasn't ready, I think I would be way more upset, but she was ready, so I guess I'm ready too. Everyone kind of wants to know when I'm getting a new cat and honestly, I don't know. I probably will within the next year get another cat. My mom wanted me to go ahead and start filling out applications at the Humane Society and stuff, which I've done, but I don't plan on getting a new cat at the moment. We still have Tootsie and so it's just like I... Obviously, I have more stuff to talk about, but I now work 30 hours a week. So bringing in a new cat who is supposed to get comfortable with me so I could potentially take it into my next house. I just don't have time for that right now. So yeah. But eventually I will get a new cat. Like when I move out, I'm definitely getting a cat. The second thing I wanted to kind of update you on is I got a second job. I'm working another server job at a country club and I really do like it so far. I've been there for a month now. Yeah, literally I've been there for a month now. And I think I'm doing really well. And everyone's super nice there. I really do like working with everybody there. I feel like that's not always the case with every single job that you get. But as of this moment, I can truly say everyone at my country club job are a joy to work with. Let me give you a little timeline here. So like second week of September, I get my new job. The week after is when Snickers dies, right? Obviously, I just wanted to address that first because that's more important. But then the week after that, my third week at my new job, I had to go to the hospital, not from my job, but I was having crazy abdominal pains and I almost called out of work, which is something, if you know me, I do not do. I literally work whether I have a headache, if I'm perioding everywhere, like I go to work. So I went to work, whatever, it hurt so bad. And then went to the ER after work. We went to the med shack and then they sent us to the ER. We didn't get back until midnight. So we were there for like six hours. And the ER doctors pro most likely got it wrong. They thought it was something with my gallbladder and the x-ray came up clean. So the next day we went to my primary doctor. I didn't see the actual doctor that I go to, but I saw a nurse practitioner there. And she thinks I have a hernia from acid reflux so I got on acid reflux meds and now I'm just waiting for my doctor's appointment so we can schedule my scope because I'm gonna have to get a scope and you know that's foot that's vlog footage you know that's gonna happen but the next thing I wanted to touch on this is like a huge life update 36 pounds down I am so happy the goal is 100 but I'm 36 pounds down I feel so good I can sleep I can lay in my bed comfortably like I used to lay on my side and then my fat would dig into my ribs and it would really, really, really hurt. And now I am sleeping on my sides more than my stomach. It's crazy. Like diet is a huge part of being able to sleep well and I did not know that. So like as soon as my diet changed and I started eating pretty consistently healthy, like my life literally changed. But I'm in the gym probably five, six days a week. If not, I'm still like going on like a run I run now. That's crazy. I never thought I'd be able to say that. I'm also back in therapy, so that's nice. And then the last thing I wanted to update on 
is so cool because by the time you're seeing this, all of the branding for both of these things will be ready to go. I am rebranding in the reel and its new name is going to be Oh Hey My Cat Died. I just randomly came up with that at like 11 o'clock at night one night. I texted Riley and was like, this is what it's going to be. You need to take pictures for it. So here is the podcast art covers and things like that for Oh Hey My Cat Died. gonna be the same podcast gonna be the same format just has a new name new branding because honestly I think that's a more clever title and if it's about conversation anyways that's a, like a legitimate real life conversation and scenario but also Riley Megan and I are starting another podcast called the doubt diaries and it's gonna be touching on my anxiety my OCD and we're gonna have a companion YouTube series that comes out probably on my channel we haven't worked by the time this comes out we'll have worked out the details but we're gonna do a companion YouTube series where we actually go and face my fears like driving on the interstate. So yeah, that'll be really fun, really, I'm really excited about it. We're all super busy, but I would say January is probably when we're gonna start doing that or like you're gonna start seeing it. So I'm super excited about that, but I've rambled long enough. I'm gonna hate myself when I edit this, but enjoy the rest okay. of the video. It is October 14th. I am exhausted, but I gotta keep trucking along because I have two jobs to go to today. It's 9.30 almost right now, which means I gotta be to my country club job at 10. I made my breakfast yesterday, meal prepped it so I didn't have to make anything, which I'm really excited about. It tastes really good. It's a little dry because it's like pasta stuff, so, but, you know, you can't be too picky when you're meal prepping. But I'll be at that job from 10 to 4 and then I have like... 40-ish minutes in between to get home, eat, change, and go to Cultured for the rest of the night. Um, yeah, very tired, but we're gonna have two, I'm gonna have two busy days technically ahead of me today because we have an event at the country club and then we also have a lot of stuff going on at the winery, so tomorrow is gonna be a me day. I'm gonna go to Muncie. It's gonna be Fancy, love it. I'm gonna get Chipotle. I'm gonna see the new Exorcist movie, so I'll take you along for that. But today, this is all you're getting. Happy Sunday. We're doing a Muncie day. Bookstore. I need to get mascara, so I'm going to Ulta. Movie, Chipotle. We're gonna have a good day, so let's go to the bookstore. Went to Ulta, got my mascara, and they finally had new Morphe palettes. They never have any, so I got one. Okay, it's really shitty lighting, but we're gonna do a haul. Got my Chipotle. Love that. I don't know if I'm gonna eat it because I'm gonna meet Aaliyah for dinner in an hour. Went to Ulta, and I got the Fall Into Fabulous palette. I always look for new palettes when I go, and they either don't have any or the ones I want they're out of. And then nobody wants that nasty display because people put their fingers in that shit. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Look at all the fall colors. I'm definitely gonna wear this when I go to work on Wednesday. I don't know if I'm going out anywhere before then. And better than sex mascara. It is the only mascara that makes me look like I have any eyelashes. I went to Books A Million. My favorite bookstore, the lo a local bookstore called Ink Drinkers, it on fall break also it's sunday so they're not open but i got the other two emily henry books that i haven't read and then i finally went to cvs got more magnesium and more probiotics and that's my boring haul okay so it's Monday, I have Snickers with me, and Riley's gonna take some pictures for the podcast. Rebrand, so yeah. And my beanbag is just chilling now. The beanbag is <laughs> right <laughs> here! <laughs> Are you good, man? <laughs> so, this thing, I washed the cover. This is Sharon. I washed the cover, mm -hmm. and now I put it back in. <laughs> I didn't have help when I did it. So it's just kind of chunky, and there's like strange... 
extra fabric in the corners. Like when you put a pillow in a pillowcase? Yeah, but yeah. like it's a bean bag. <laughs> you good? That's a whole thing. Oh no, where did Riley go? I guess I'm home alone. <laughs> Oh Are God. you about ready? I'm, uh, yeah, I was just waiting for stuff to transfer off that SD card. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting on Megan sheets next to Snickers eating <laughs> icing and ice cream from a bowl. This is delicious. This is why I was 300 pounds. This is my view from the floor. <laughs> Snickers is here too. Oh my gosh, the fact that you your dead cat in a box and you cart her around is very worrying. <laughs> That's what Karen says. Maybe your mom's right. Like, you know what I mean? Well, here's the thing, though, is I, you know, I've been taking this really well, apparently. Maybe this is my way of coping. <laughs> this is not a healthy way of coping. Like, get a new pet, take up a hobby. I thought you were going to say take a Bahamas, and I was like, what? What? I think you were going to say take a Bahamas. Take a Bahamas? I don't know. <laughs> unpack this tomorrow in therapy what do you think uh for definitely you need to unpack some other things in therapy too like oh we, we could the cat with you no good that's progress progress <laughs> well i sit at my desk and do therapy so we're at the point where i straighten my hair because i ate the curly hair but snickers is still hanging out <laughs> and i'm surprised riley isn't kicking me out of her house yet because i've been really like demanding today i feel like nah you're being great <laughs> Like, I need to get my hair fixed. I need to fix my makeup. I want you to like it. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it would be stupid if we had to do this all again. Yeah. Do it right the first time. <laughs> some people we know. So, Riley uses, all, like, always the same project file for all my photo shoots. And this is me, what was that, February? I don't even remember when that was. And this is, this is November, or late October. Like, this is almost, like, a year difference. Is there dirt on my screen? You can see okay. how, like much my face has changed like that's crazy wait we're gonna arm wrestle we're just gonna see <laughs> you're gonna win but you're really strong i'm i punch a punching bag you mm -hmm. lift things you know what i mean and this is a lift thing challenge all right well i'm gonna take my other hand <laughs> <laughs> that hurt actually kind of my shoulder <laughs> i wasn't expecting all right i punch things so right. ready i feel Three. like i'm not at a good angle you know i gotta like get back here okay good one you gotta take your other hand off the table well, i'm not using it okay. Okay, but, okay, ready? Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, you, you beat me easily. We'll do a, a left-handed. But if we're punching something... You're calling it a woman this one. Ready? No, this... this. Yeah, I'm... You're, you're totally... <laughs> don't break my ass. <laughs> <gonna> break <laughs> a year ago, you would have totally beat me, though. I know. I feel like I need to, like, go, like, pump some iron. Ooh, let's pump some iron! <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. I feel like it's like a little longer than the normal vlogs and I don't want to run into any exporting troubles, which I'm sure I'm going to. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this and I will see you when I see you.